In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate the concept of HTML language and tags that we use within HTML whenever we're creating our web page, site, or blog. So from within our dashboard, let me first navigate quickly to our pages here. So let me click on pages, and this will take you to the various pages that you have currently available that you can edit and change. So this is our test page. In other words, this is our home page. So let me quickly open this. This takes us to the editing area where we can change the title of the page and of course the text as well. So first, let's change the title because we want to call it home page. It's easier to identify. So I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to call it home page. And then of course, our text that goes on the bottom area. For instance, at this point, it says this is a test page. And I'm going to change this to say, welcome to our new website. Hope you enjoy working with WordPress. Okay, great. So just simple changes. At this point, there's no coding, no nothing. Just simply navigating to your WordPress dashboard, going to pages and opening a page to edit. If you like to preview it, you can of course click on the preview changes before you can update, right? So make sure you preview everything that you do. So in other words, even if you were to change anything on this particular page, you need to preview it first before you can update your pages. Because once you update, your page is going to be live on the local host in our case. And if you're working on an online web server, then your site would be live. So let's click on preview changes and it will show you your new changes that you made to this page. Welcome to our new website. Hope you enjoy working with WordPress. So let's navigate back to our dashboard here. Now within WordPress, it's really simply used such as, for instance, if I need to make the word welcome in bold, I will simply select the word and click on the letter B here on the menu and it will make the letter bold. And notice what WordPress does, it places a tag called strong and then your text. And then of course it closes the tag with a backslash inside. So th this is an example of a tag. The reason why you see these tags because you have the option where you've selected the text. If I were to see the visual part of my tab here, for example, if I click on visual, it will simply show me the bold text. It's not going to show me the HTML language or the tags. I will only be able to see the HTML part when I click on the text tab. And above here on the menu within the text tab are some of the basic HTML tags like bold, italic, I can create a link, I can do a quotation for this text and so on. I can do an image, unordered list, so forth. And there are hundreds of tags available. I will give you the list of tags as a PDF document that you can download as a resource. But for right now, let me switch to visual here. If I need to, let's say, make the word website here in italic, I can simply highlight the word here and click on the italic option on the menu and it will change the word to italic. If I need to see the HTML code that makes this word in italic, simply navigate to your text tab here and notice it will tell you that the website or the italic tag is EM and then of course your word and then of course it closes the HTML tag. So HTML tagging is simply getting to know various tags that you like to apply to your text. For instance, if I need to center all of my text. I can simply write my own tag, something like center. So all tags begins with a less than sign and then ends with a greater than sign. And of course, I like to end the tag at the end. I'm going to say something like center and close the tag. So everything in the middle here between the two words center and then center at the end, my entire text inside the tag will be centered. If I click on preview, for instance, navigate to my tab here, notice it is now centered. So again, all of the text is centered because everything that falls within the tag is centered. So let me navigate back to our page here. So similarly, you get the idea, right? So it's a basic starting point of understanding HTML tagging language. And WordPress allows you to do programming right within the editor. So either you can use the visual aspect of it, and notice if I click on visual, my text is centered and I can align left or center or align right. So depending upon my own requirement, I could do so. If I need to go back and not center it, I can always go back to text and delete this tag at the end. And of course, I must delete the tag in the front and preview changes, navigate to my tab here and notice my text is now on the left side. So this way you can play with some of these tags some of these are basic tags. And once again, I'll provide you a whole list of tags that you can work with. Let me give another example. 
Let's go to visual here. Let's say I need to, let's add more text. So here's a quotation that I wanna add. We are going to create our own e-commerce website. And I wish to code this, right? So I highlight the entire text, for example, and I simply use the black code. If I click on preview changes and navigate to my page here, notice it just blacks codes the entire text for me. So there are multiple options, like I mentioned earlier. Go back to our site here, and if I wish to uncheck the black code, it's going to remove the black code. Similarly, if I need to insert a hyperlink, right? So for example, this e-commerce website, I need to create a link, a hyperlink to another page, whether it's on my own website or an external page, I can simply highlight, click on the insert edit link. It brings up the dialog box where I can enter the URL that I wish to link this page to. So for instance, let's link it to our homepage or any one of these pages, for instance, and I have the option to select open link in a new tab. So every time a user clicks on this particular link, a new tab on the browser will open and I click add link and here's our link. Before I preview, let me show you the HTML behind the scenes of this link. So let's switch to our text tab here and here's the HTML tag. So the anchor tab is, is href equals, and then of course the link that you specify, target and then underscore blank means a new tab. And then of course your text e-commerce and your tags are closed by a backslash a. So essentially all of this is simply creating a link, a hyperlink to a certain text using HTML. And the best way to know more about HTML is practice using these tags within your text just so that you can experiment on multiple tags. And there are again hundreds of tags that you can take a look at. But I just wanted to give you the fundamental concept of implementing HTML within your text. If I were to preview the changes now, and let's go to our page here. Notice this is now a link. So we're going to create our own e-commerce website. If I were to click on this, it's going to open a new tab on my browser and take me to that page. Perfect. Let's go back to our editor here. If I remove this target blank, as I mentioned earlier, this part, if I delete this part, for example, and now preview the changes, switch back to our website here. Now what will happen when I click on this link now? Earlier it opened a new tab, but in this instance, since I deleted the blank aspect of the HTML tag, if I click on this link now, it's going to use the same page and open the page within the same tab. It's not going to open a blank tab. So this way, again, let's go back. You can customize your own tags as well. If I change the URL here to say something like wordpress.org, of course preview changes. And now if I click on the e-commerce website, notice it's going to take me to the wordpress.org webpage. Great. So you get the idea. This way you can start creating text, building text on your website, your web pages, and add your hyperlinks to those as well. So in this lesson, I wanted to demonstrate the concept of HTML and how to work with some basic HTML tags and how WordPress handles those tags. In other words, you can either have your visual editor or you can do entire text using HTML language. So I hope this helps. Practice and let's move to our next lesson.